Hi. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> it's morning. <laughs> <laughs> it is that. It is. It is. Um, I'm, a stand, I'm at my standing desk right now, so I have the ability to raise my desk up and lower it. And so when I'm standing, I have a hard time standing still. I like want to sway. I didn't even know you had a standing desk. Yeah. I'm kind of jealous. Like, that's cool. There's like a crank and you can crank it and then it rises up. So oh, that that's I awesome. Can, yeah. And I just started doing it the other day. Was, oh, you should do that all the time. We just got a treadmill and I was thinking about trying to fashion a desk kind of on top of it so I could actually walk all. <laughs> Anything oh make you move. I hate being stuck in a chair and sitting all day. So I yeah. Don't know. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's, it is great. And then my legs start to get tired. So <laughs> we're, it's good. So if I go out of focus, that's why I start. To got it. It all time. makes sense. <laughs> okay. You got a question for me? I do. I have a question. Okay. What are some things you are interested in learning more about? So I just, to give you a little context, I just did a post with me doing a standing, I, I have a storm door and I'm, I'm sure you saw the post and it was, um, it was something new and I felt a little awkward because I had to do a little bit of research to figure out and then, you know, um, so what are some things you're interested in learning more about? Oh my goodness. Um, we're kind of learning junkies. So. <laughs> so many things. There's so many things. I, I, my mom knows that I am a person that's just a constant learner. Mm. I get bored. And if I'm not learning something new, um, partially, I guess, why I keep going back to school and getting more certifications. And that's a whole different conversation in and of itself, too. I'm with um, you. Yes. But I, no, I mean, that's a great question because I think that you, as adults, we lose sight of the need to learn something new. And yes. by working your brain in different ways and making those new neural connections, you are um, able to stay young longer. I mean, it keeps you fresh. It keeps life fresh and interesting. So I think that's an awesome question. Um, there's so many things. I, right now, have been really interested in gardening and cooking. So I do not have a green thumb. I have killed every plant in the history of man. I've killed it. I've managed to find a way to not keep it alive. Even the ones that they say, the top 10 plants to have in your home because they're impossible to kill. You killed them. Killed it. Um, so I am actually, I am actually right now taking an online class about gardening and the, the plants that you can have in your own home garden that are the easiest um, to keep alive <laughs> and that will provide food for your family, which I think is so, so cool. And then cooking, I've always loved cooking love it but I've always been a person that follows a recipe I have to have a recipe in front of me mm -hmm. and I have more and more I want to break away from that so I've started experimenting where I'll have two or three recipes in front of me and kind of pick and pull from them with my eventual goal being to be able to cook without a recipe I, I just wow how people can like just <laughs> oh it needs this seasoning and oh this would finish this is just amazing to me um, I mean, that's just a little, there, I have, a, I have, I could probably list like 50 things, but that's sort of where my head has been at right now, I guess, because of shelter in place and being at home so much. Mm -hmm. What about you? Yeah. It's, I love that you said gardening because that's actually one of my husband's passions. He grew up on a farm and he loves gardening. So we have a place for a big garden out in our backyard and we have, we haven't finished it yet, but the kids this year put up just a, ra a raised bed garden. So that's what they've been doing. But, and I see the passion of making something and being able to pick it and eat it, right? Like taking it all the way. But I would like to learn more about flowers, like planting pots and making almost like this sanctuary place on my patio that has these plants and flowers because they bring some just some happiness to me so I'd like to learn how to do that and put that together and yeah. um so it's kind of the same thing getting your hands in the dirt and there's I mean it's proven that there is so much benefit 
on, on so many levels. I mean, it's, it's exercise, but there's also just something about getting your hands dirty in the ground. Um, it helps ground you. It can take your mind off of things as a stress reliever. Um, I mean, so gardening is just, I, I'm so impressed by people that just are naturally a green oh, yeah. mom and I'm sort of envious a little bit. But in a similar vein, learning to knit, um, you know, Anna Alexis oh, that's great. That and yes. doing something like that, learning a new language, learning oh, Those are poverty. all the things I would love. I would yeah, love. I mean, th th but those are all firing those different parts of the brain and um, encouraging you to think creatively or just outside of your normal yeah, well, I have to have my kids teach me how to knit because they learned that in school. So they did? Yeah. I'm really saying that, actually. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, there's one other thing I'd love to learn. Um, I'm big into, like, sustainability, environments, things like that. And it would be really fun to figure out how to repurpose furniture, like, essentially decorating with furniture that I've recycled. I don't know. That's my mom has been that. My mom, like... Oh my gosh, she can just take something and find a way to just make it this incredible thing. I, I remember when I was in college, this is hardcore budget, okay? I'm, I'm a college kid. Yeah. But I had this dining room area and I had this grand vision of having some kind of like, oh, what are they called? Those like panel things that are like a divider, a room, oh, the divider. room divider. Yeah. And they were all expensive and I didn't want to spend money on it. So my mom found old an old trellis. We spray painted it black and then we got different colored paper, just paper. Um, but like some of it was sheer and see-through, some of it was textured. It was all different colors. So and we just fun. Super glued it on and our hot glue gunned it on and it was like a stained, it legit looked like a stained glass window. It was beautiful. Now, I mean like it was a college kid's it might not be something you would put up in your house as an adult, but I was ecstatic over it. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. <laughs> so um, really quick, before like before we sign off, when you learn something new, do you feel more excitement or do you feel a little bit more awkward? What kind of feelings go through you? I think it depends. I think that if it's something that I'm picking up quickly and that it's clear that I'm getting it, mm -hmm. I feel excitement. I think, obviously, if I'm trying something new and I kind of am sucking at it, <laughs> like it's not clicking for me right away, then yeah, there's, there's of course that moment of awkwardness. And I think that's where it's important to push through and keep trying. So language is one thing that I immediately think of with that. I don't necessarily have an ear for picking up a language right away. My husband does, he's so quick to pick up languages. And I try and I recognize how I butcher words and how that doesn't sound right. And I'm always worried about, um, you know, the other, if particularly if I'm in another country speaking to a native uh, speaker, mm -hmm. how that maybe comes off to them, and am I, am I being insulting, and, and then I feel really awkward. <laughs> Say um, something naughty to them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, gosh, I hope not. But the first time that you look at somebody and you are able to say, hi, have a wonderful day, and you make their day brighter in another language, that's going to be so worth it, right? Oh, so I, I know a little bit of Spanish because we did all the traveling. The first time I made a joke in Spanish and a native Spanish speaker laughed at my joke, I, you would have thought I had like, like mountain. <laughs> yes, I was walking around like, yeah. <laughs> Puff up. <laughs> exactly. Oh, all right. I loved this. This has been fun. Yes. All right. Can you go have more coffee? Oh, absolutely. Okay, like, yeah, right. Have a good day. <laughs> Bye, buddy. We'll see you later. <laughs> Bye.